What's up, Turner fam? How you doing today? How you doing? All right, so overslept a little bit. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's still an overcast day until like noonish, but you know, it is what it is. Sun's poking out of clouds right now, but trust me, there's clouds up there somewhere. So while I was in Columbia yesterday taking Gregory to his appointment, he's doing good. Thank you all to ask about him. Thank you. Y'all the real MVP. He's doing good. He got another checkup next Friday. But I went to Sportsman Warehouse while I was up there. You know, got to go look at the lures. I honestly wanted to get me a Piranha Max 4 with the down imaging. Because right now all I got is a uh, scan and I don't trust that thing to save my life. I got a hook too or something. If anybody out there got a side image depth finder for sale for like a good deal, I'm talking about, you know, a broke boy deal. <laughs> but anyway, anyway guys, I got me a, a popping image, which is, I call my eight pound bass on a popping image. It was a Bill Dance edition, but it's the same exact plug. So I'm gonna go out there throw it around see if I can catch a couple for a little you know nostalgic feeling and I also got some magnum trick worms that I ain't never used before and those things look juicy you know I'm a trick worm fanatic so it's just a bigger bigger fanatic of a trick worm you know anyway guys I'm gonna go out there put a boat in and I'm gonna see if I can catch me a, a fish or two I ain't looking for no size I ain't looking for a, a bunch of them I just want one or two Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello over the blue view. I threw it across that pontoon right there. And I was going over there to get my line off of it and next thing I know <laughs> my rod started twitching. I didn't even move it or nothing. That's just when it hit the, the water. It's pretty good bluegill. That's what these bass over here eat. <coughs> Got one. Uh, little guy, but start to the day. Oh, an old popper. Uh, number two, got one of that Magnum trick worm. First time ever using it. Look how big that sucker is. <laughs> I picked up some yesterday at Sportsman Warehouse. Not a big one, but a fun one. I threw a popper in the same spot. He knocked the crap out of it. Man, to the top of my worm off. I'm gonna try to reuse it though. It is a magnum after all. <laughs> I got it on a 5 out hook. A little, I want to say 16 ounce weight. Just rigging it. Skin hooked since the worm's so big. I don't want to have to go through a lot of worms because they are like 5 bucks a pack. Unlike the little ones, are like three bucks a pack. Backlash. Oh, I was tangled up. But he was uh, about one foot of water up there. So I threw my popper. I've already caught one on the popper, but I don't know if that one is any indication. Like I said, one could be a dumb fish, two could be a pattern. Let's find out. 
Another one on the popper. And the bad part, like, there was a guy over here fishing this about 20 minutes ago. There's been a lot of people in my spots today. I guess they've been watching my, my videos. Like, at least comment down below. You know what I mean? And hit the like button. But he wanted that. And you got the first treble in his mouth. That's really wanted. All right. Let's see if he's 14 inches. I'm gonna put him in live with we'll a picture later. And yep. Yeah, let me. All right. Let's try to get another one. So two of my fish that came off a of rip wrap. Sorry for all the waves. It is 4th of July weekend and, you know, people out here celebrating it, which, you know, kind of, it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, America. I mean, I love this country and people want to get out here on their days off and play around on their boat. I mean, it kind of does hinder fishing a little bit, especially fishing out of a giant boat. But it is what it is. You get used to it eventually. Now, if I was in a kayak, that would suck. But I've just been throwing parallel to the rip wrap with this popper. And then I work in between with the magnum trick worm of what, you know, be hard to get a popper in. I got another set of rip wrap I'm going to go run when I get done with this one. Hopefully we can pick one more up off of it. But see what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to work back too. Just to hit it real good. And not fall out of the boat because of the waves. Alright, let's let this guy go. Oh, I couldn't get my camera on. There's another one. I actually got my dad fishing with me today. <clears throat> He's over there in the bass boot with my nephew Landon. Y'all seen him on a bunch of videos. He normally just crappy fish, but he's out here taking my nephew bass fishing. Oh, hopefully they can get one. Ain't catching no big ones today, but I mean, it's 4th of July weekend, a lot of boat traffic, so catching anything is good. He choked that thing. Alright, I mean, nothing to brag about, but fish is a fish. Caught a couple on. Let's check that knot. We're good. Oh, let's get another one. Sorry, I ain't really been getting the blow ups, but <clears throat> it's not the easiest thing in the world to keep the GoPro running with a 16 gigabyte SD card. So, really, if I get a bite on Texas rig, I'll turn it on. And when I catch one, I'll turn it on. But hopefully, we'll upgrade it. Soon. I got three GoPro batteries, so that'll last for a little bit. All right, guys, just made it home. I just want to talk about the the popping image real quick before I go inside and edit this video. Just want to show y'all what I was using today pretty much I was throwing it on a seven foot medium heavy action rod and there she is a little popping image love that lure anyway guys if you enjoyed the video hit the like button for me share it to your friends on Facebook and as always hit the subscribe button I'll catch you next time yee yee